What's up, France? This is Jamie from Cold Orange. Um, here at my house in which I live, this man and our bass player, Joe. Uh, we made a little playlist for you for Heavy One. See, so yeah, I'm going to take you through with some records and some CDs. Uh, the first one, Wolf Moon by Typo Negative from the record October Rust, sitting right here. Uh, we were lucky enough to get to interview Typo uh, a couple months ago, obviously before all this stuff started going down. And uh, it was great. It was very insightful. And they're just hardworking, great guys. And well, they gave us some copies of this box set. And uh, it was pretty special. So Wolf Moon, October Rust. All right, track two, uh, Fear Factory from Fear is the Mind Killer remix album. Uh, this is this man's tape right here. And uh, yeah, this is a cool remix album, digging even deeper into the electronic side of Fear Factory. They've definitely been an influence to us. This is self-immolation remix, Fear Factory, Fear is the Mind Killer. All right, next up, we got our own record. Underneath, out now on Roadrunner Records. A lot of these records are Roadrunner Records records. Uh, legendary labels put out a lot of great, great releases. And uh, right here, you got a little Roadrunner logo. Check that bad boy out. Feels good seeing that in physical. And uh, yeah, this is the song, A Razor Scan. Next up, got Biohazard, Shades of Grey from Urban Discipline. Uh, classic New York hardcore album. What do you think about it, Dom? It's one of the best, definitely the best Biohazard album. Definitely the, the most classic, most known. Uh, awesome hard album. No frills about it. Real shit. So there you go. Shades of Grey, Biohazard. All right, next we got Machine Head, Down to None, from The More Things Change. Uh, got the CD right here. Awesome album, influential to us for sure. Different kind of metal, different kind of heavy music when it came out. A very legendary and important. And an amazing man, this is my favorite record by them. So, Machine Head, Down to None. Next we got The Cure, uh, A Forest. So here's a Cure single tape that I have, uh, Standing on a Beach. I just wanted to include this song, Change of Pace. Also have the tape, trying to connect things to the physical media that we have, and physical media is very important now, especially. So uh, yeah, classic song. If you know anything about anything, you know the song, Cure, A Forest. Okay, this next one is Resistance Wire. That's a band that stars this man, uh, Joe from my band, Shade from my band, and a couple of our friends from back here. Awesome hardcore band. You can find their shit on Spotify. It's stylistically somewhat similar to Code in some ways, but it's all written by this man. Definitely influenced by Code. It's it's definitely it's it's, it's a, it totally has its own style, but I would say it's very relatable to you know Machine Head's a big influence for sure, and it uh. Is te more technical, more hardcore based for sure. Uh, but check it out, not a lot of people have heard it. Resistance Wire, the song is called Sanctuary in My Head. All right, next we got Rollins Band, Fool. Here's the tape of Weight sitting right here. Uh, love Rollins Band. Uh, fits totally on its own. There's not too much to compare it to. And his voice is obviously iconic, but I like Rollins' band probably the most of anything that he's ever done, you know? So, pretty so do a lot of people. So, Rollins' band, Fool. Next, we got Ministry, NWO. This is a cool tape that Dom has. Uh, yeah, awesome band. Obviously, very important. Uh, industrial wise and metal wise and they combined so many elements and they were the first to do a lot of it so ministry nwo all right the next is our buddy's band vein this is pretty much their demo tape right or yeah one of the early eps pretty much their demo tape early ep terrors round uh on the playlist it's going to be a live version 
because uh, this tape isn't on Spotify, but here's a live version of Terrors Round by our buddies Vane. <laughs> All right, next we got VOD, Vision of Disorder, uh, Divide. I absolutely love this record. Uh, and it's, that's one of my favorite songs on it. We got to meet VOD when we were really young, honestly. Uh, we played a festival with them in Texas. Uh, it was like a company, some kind of company sponsored thing where they flew people out. And so when we were, we were teenagers and we were like blown away by that, of course, and it still would be, it's awesome. And uh, we met them and they loved our music and we connected and they're very influential to us. So especially on the I Am King record. So VOD, Divide. Okay, well, no secret here. This is one of my favorite bands of all time, Nine Inch Nails. This is from their remix album, Fixed, uh, which I love. And I chose Happiness and Slavery. Um, Chris Verena is credited on this one especially. He worked with us on our underneath record, the newest record we have. And uh, he's just a great guy. So I love this song. I love this band. I love this remix. This remix sounds like it's the same beat and melody from Heresy from the Downward Spiral. Uh, so I think that's interesting. Maybe they're getting to that idea and chose to start experimenting with it here and turn it into a full song then. So Nine Inch Nails, Chris Verena, uh, Happiness and Slavery remix. Next up. Got this sent to us by an awesome label in the UK called Invada, who does a lot of uh, soundtracks and etc. And I've bothered them with a lot of questions in the past, so for that I apologize. But this is the Ex Machina soundtrack. I absolutely love this movie. It's one of my favorite recent movies in the past couple years. And uh, Joe, our bass player, also loves this movie. So this is uh, I Am Become Death from that soundtrack, which I absolutely love. Next we got our friends band from Pittsburgh, a great band, heavy, kind of combines alternative rock elements with really heavy hardcore. They are called Eternal Sleep. And this is The Emptiness Of. Amazing band, love them. Uh, yeah, Eternal Sleep, The Emptiness Of. The song is called Straw Man. That's one of my favorite songs on there. So, check it out. Next we got a classic, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven, missing the front of the, of the CD, but fuck it, who gives a shit? And uh, we got Hard Line, Sucking Cheeks, I picked for this one. And it's a cool song, kind of change of pace on the record. Awesome song, amazing record, you can pick literally any song off this record, one of the best heavy records of all time. So Pantera, Hard Line, Sucking Cheeks. Next we got a, another Pittsburgh band, not very known, uh, but one of our absolute biggest influence is getting into metallic hardcore and metalcore or whatever you want to call it. They're called Path to Misery. And they're a band from Pittsburgh. This is their CDR we picked up when we were young. But they recently re-recorded this record uh, with guests on every song. And I sing on one of the songs. We all sing on a song, actually, each. But the song I sing on is called Victors, Victims of Our Own Device. And uh, it's an awesome song, quick, quick song. And I jumped on there. I was really sick when I recorded it, so I sound like shit. All right, the next one, KMFDM. This is one of Dom's favorite bands. What can you say about KMFDM? Love them. This album, uh, this song specifically is kind of like Electronic Slayer. It's fucking awesome. It's called A Drug Against War. Uh, busted out the Hellraiser 3 soundtrack just because it's fucking tight. And uh, it has a KMF Dion song on here, which I'm not sure which record it's on. It's called Ooh La La, but it's not the same song. But this is most likely a better song. A Drug Against War, KMF DM. All right, next one, Hole. Awesome rock band, uh, influences us for sure. And vocal stylings, really just this record. I love this record, Celebrity Skin. Uh, this song's called Hit So Hard. All right, we just got two more. Uh, this one is by a band called Hate Breed. It's called A Call for Blood. Uh, hard ass fucking song, period, the end. This is A Call for Blood, like local compilation album where some bands, one band we really love, Built Upon Frustration, does about half the songs. Just cover uh, Hate Breed songs. And this is, it's called Call for Blood, so I thought it would be cool to bust this out. But yeah, A Call for Blood, Hate Breed. All right, actually two more. Uh, next up, we got God Flesh Street Cleaner tape sitting right here. Got this at my buddy AJ's record store, Preserving Underground in Pittsburgh. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, go check that out. Uh, this song's called Dream Long Dead. 
basically have a line in our song, The New Reality, have the secret circle of a dream long dead, let silence be your offering. And yeah, I stole that from, from that song. This is a record that we all love and uh, everyone loves. It's a little bit obvious, but fuck it. God flesh, street cleaner, dream long dead. All right, last song is by one of my favorite hardcore bands of all time. Uh, 90s hardcore band from Buffalo, New York called Buried Alive. Uh, my buddy Scott Vogel, who's in terror, sang in it, and uh, he gave me this windbreaker amongst other merch, and I cherish it and value it. Uh, he's my brother, so. Buried Alive, uh, the song is To Live and Die With, off of the record, The Death of Your Perfect World. To Live and Die With is a song that I sang at this hardcore festival, Buried Alive Reunited, a couple years ago now at this point. And basically Scott asked me to do it because Jamie Justice sings on it and my name is Jamie. That was the reasoning I was given. So two Jamies to live and die with buried alive. Thank you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this playlist. Um, sorry if talking about it was awkward or whatever, but uh, yeah, enjoy it. This is all the hardest shit you need. Most of the best shit you need. So check it out. See ya.